Mohamed Kosum, a researcher at DTU, has made a groundbreaking discovery in the field of battery technology. He has developed a new material that has shown great promise in replacing lithium in future super batteries. This innovative material will be used in solid state batteries and is based on potassium and sodium silicates, which are commonly found in rock formations and are abundant minerals of the Earth's crust. This breakthrough has the potential to revolutionize the way we power our devices, offering a more sustainable and efficient energy storage solution. So, what exactly is this big news? And what does this mean for the EV industry? Join us as we discuss this and more. The range of your electric car, how far you can drive on a single charge, and how long it takes to refill its energy tank depends entirely on the battery. However, the most common battery technology today, lithium-ion, has limitations. It gets the job done, but can be expensive to maintain and might not always be readily available. Lithium itself is a rare material, and mining, it can have negative environmental impacts. This is where the need for a new generation of batteries comes in. As more people embrace electric cars, we need batteries that are just as efficient but more eco-friendly and affordable. This search is no doubt one of the most important of this decade, leading researchers worldwide down a fascinating path. They are looking for completely new ingredients for the battery's key parts, the anode, cathode, and electrolyte. A breakthrough in battery technology could be a game-changer for reducing transportation emissions, and it looks like we've just gotten this breakthrough at DTU. Dr. Mohamed Kosum might have stumbled upon a key ingredient for this super battery revolution. He's exploring the potential of solid-state batteries based on potassium and sodium silicates, common minerals found in abundance throughout the Earth's crust. Imagine the key to the future of electric cars could be hiding in plain sight, literally under our feet, in the form of everyday rocks. These minerals are not only plentiful, but also much safer and more eco-friendly to extract compared to lithium. Dr. Kosum's research suggests they could be the key to unlocking a new era of electric car batteries. Powerful, sustainable, and readily available. Paving the way for a cleaner transportation future. A great advantage of the new material is that it is not sensitive to air and humidity. This makes it possible to mold it into a paper-thin layer inside the battery. However, traditional electrolytes like those in lithium-ion batteries are often fussy. They can be sensitive to air and moisture, making them tricky to work with during manufacturing. This can lead to safety hazards and expensive production processes. Dr. Kosum's new material, based on potassium silicate, is like a revolutionary new highway material. It's incredibly tough. Unlike traditional electrolytes, it doesn't get damaged by air or humidity. This makes it possible to create a super thin layer, almost like a sheet of paper, inside the battery. Think of it as building a highway so thin and flexible it can fit perfectly within the tight spaces of a battery. This paper-thin highway is made from potassium silicate, a milky white material. Potassium silicate is incredibly abundant. These silicates make up over 90% of the Earth's crust. It's literally everywhere, from beach stand to rocks in your backyard. This means it's cheap, readily available, and much kinder to the environment compared to mining lithium. But the benefits don't stop there. Traditionally, Batteries need special conditions for manufacturing, controlled atmospheres and high temperatures. Dr. Kosum's material is different because it's not sensitive to moisture. These batteries can be produced in regular factory settings, closer to room temperature. This makes them cheaper and easier to scale up for mass production. There's another bonus. Current lithium-ion batteries often rely on expensive and harmful metals like cobalt to improve their performance. Dr. Kosum's material works perfectly well without these problematic metals. This is a huge win for both the environment and battery costs. However, it's important to note that this research isn't entirely new. Scientists have known about the potential of potassium silicate. The quality of these roads is crucial. A good electrolyte allows ions to move freely, keeping the electricity flowing smoothly. This translates to better battery performance in all aspects, how much energy it can store, capacity, how fast it charges, how long it lasts, lifespan, and even safety. The smoother the ion traffic, the better the battery works. The size of the ions plays a big role here. Traditionally, electrolytes use lithium ions, which are like small cars dipping through the city. However, other materials like rock silicates have much bigger ions, like giant trucks. These bigger ions tend to move slower, causing traffic jams in the battery. This is why scientists haven't favored them as much. 
but Dr. Coscombe's discovery is like creating a revolutionary new type of road for these bigger trucks. He's found a way to make potassium silicate, a common rock material, function as a super-efficient ion highway. The initial tests are promising. Dr. Coscombe's superhighway material seems to conduct electricity very well. The exact recipe for this magic material is a secret for now, as he holds a patent on it. But one thing is clear. This discovery has the potential to revolutionize batteries by making them more efficient and eco-friendly. Solid-state batteries are a hot topic in the world of electric cars, and for good reason. These innovative batteries are considered to be the super battery of the future by both researchers and electric car manufacturers. The latest buzz comes from Toyota, who recently announced their plans to launch an electric car with a lithium solid-state battery in 2027-2028. This news has sparked excitement and curiosity about the potential of solid-state batteries in revolutionizing the electric car industry. So what exactly makes solid-state batteries so special? Well, for starters, they operate on a different principle compared to the regular lithium-ion batteries that are commonly used today. In a solid-state battery, the ions travel through a solid material as opposed to through a liquid electrolyte. This unique design offers several advantages, including faster ion movement increased efficiency, and faster charging times. Imagine being able to charge your car in just 10 minutes and drive up to 1,000 kilometers. That's the kind of game-changing potential that solid-state batteries bring to the table. The road to solid-state batteries isn't without its bumps. While the tech shines in labs, scaling it up for mass production brings up a few hurdles. One challenge is the complexity and time involved in perfecting the materials and manufacturing process. These solid-state batteries are finicky, they rely on ultra-sensitive materials that require advanced labs and equipment to work with. Remember the lithium-ion batteries in your phone today? It took over 20 years of research and development to get them where they are, and improvements are still ongoing. Solid-state batteries are even more intricate. Another hurdle is building a mass production system that ensures flawless battery construction. Solid-state batteries rely on super-thin layers of materials stacked together perfectly. In a lab setting, scientists can use high pressure to press these layers together and create a good connection. But scaling this up to build a car battery with hundreds or even thousands of these cells is a whole different ballgame. Despite these challenges, researchers are constantly making progress. With continued breakthroughs, we can expect to see solid-state batteries overcome these hurdles and become a reality on the road sooner rather than later. Unlike lithium solid-state batteries, Solid-state batteries based on potassium and sodium silicates have a low technology readiness level, TRL. In simpler terms, there's a long road ahead before we see them powering our electric cars. The earliest estimates put them on the market in 10 years, which means there's a lot of development work to be done. It's also important to acknowledge the risk involved. This is uncharted territory, and the chances of success aren't guaranteed. There are many technical hurdles to overcome before these batteries become a reality. But despite the challenges, researchers like Mohammed Koskum are brimming with optimism. Here's why. They've discovered a solid-state electrolyte material that's cheap, eco-friendly, easy to scale, and even outperforms lithium-based options. That's a bold claim, and it highlights the potential of this new approach. A year after his lab discovery, he secured a patent for his recipe and is launching a startup called Kyan. This company aims to develop solid-state electrolyte components specifically for battery manufacturers. Time will tell if potassium and sodium silicate batteries become the next big thing, but Keon's efforts are a promising step in the right direction. What do you think about this? Let us know in the comments section.